This is the Blue Moon House. It's a family home renovation in Sathiara, Melbourne, Victoria. With this project, we were very lucky in how trusting the client was on the journey. We already had very much a restricted envelope within which we had to work. The exterior was formed, the borders if you like, but we could very much move the pieces around. It became very much a puzzle home where we had to kind of be a little bit more creative with the expected relationships that you see or experience in a home. The home originally was renovated kind of in the 1990s, late 2000s, and a lot of the period features of the house were stripped out. For us, it was important to kind of bring those features in to add the layers, the character, and the distinction between the front and the back. The front rooms of the house were inherently dark. They don't get a lot of light. Instead of trying to challenge that idea, the functions that we instilled in those spaces the lounge for the family to share and the master bedroom suite. We decided to embrace the idea of the dark room and whilst they both have a private function, it's about the cross views from each space and how that impacts on each other and the way the colours tie together. We've pushed the entry of the house into the middle of the home. A beautiful open kitchen dining room space to the rear with a pantry to the side with an amazing lounge fireplace that is drenched in light that opens up to an amazing rear backyard. We always find that the use of timber is something that's very special in a home. Tun and Groove go beyond the normal process of specifier and product. Tun and Groove are really interested and invested in the design and the outcomes and they were a great team to partner with in this project. So Tong and Groove got involved into the Blue Moon project with Bailey Wall Architects at a very early stage when they were looking to create a very unique pattern in the living area. They wanted to see the feasibility of such a floor with engineered boards. They were looking for a light colour that could complement the dark and moody entrance. Ardesia is probably one of the most popular colour in our range. It's a soft grey colour which is very much on trend at the moment. It provides a natural, calming background. The boards needed to be cut to size on site using very specific tools to make sure that we could achieve the vision of the architect. It was a highly technical project to install. When you walk through the entrance and you get into the living room, your eyes get drawn straight away into that pattern. It's definitely one of the biggest features in that project and something we're quite proud of. The reason why the house is called Blue Moon is the stone in the kitchen and on the bench top is very special. It's called Blue Moon. What kind of made it very special in particular is it was a task to source. Natural stone has a lot of movement, veining, grains that make it unique. So we had all these people over Australia measuring their slabs and trying to locate the one slab where the imperfection just happened to be centralised in the sink. We decided it was worthy of naming the home after. Probably the most successful elements are the elements that everyone questioned throughout the project. In particular, the way that we've decided to bring light into the dark middle spaces of the existing home. It's a townhouse that's wedged between two other properties. One of the things that we decided to do was do these pyramid skylights that were very narrow at the top. You were limited to your outlook, but widened out at the bottom to give you aspect and light. Another important element of the project is the central staircase. We were asked by the architect and the client to find a solution to make it more durable. So Tong and Groove come up with the idea of supplying a solid thread which were matching the colour of the flooring with a solid brass insert on the angle so it will be more durable over time but also complementary with the rest of the design. The stair takes you up to the kids area of the home where you have an additional two bedrooms, a guest room and their private bathroom. We were lucky enough to get to pick all the furniture, art pieces and really style the way that they live as well. 
One of the things I'm most proud of with this home is how we've managed to functionally challenge some of the ideas of how spaces work and their relationships to each other and actually have the client embrace those ideas of moving the puzzle pieces around and what your expectations are, making it a home.